A tragedy close to an iconic Oregon site. A hiker fell and died near Multnomah Falls. This is Queen 6 News at 10. I'm Elizabeth Din. Our Jamie Seymour has been out there at the scene all evening. She joins us live now. Jamie, what do we know about this so far? Liz, the woman was hiking with a group of friends along the Multnomah Falls Larch Mountain Trail when she was killed after she fell more than 100 feet. While the cause is still unknown for that fall, police are now investigating. A busy Friday evening at Multnomah Falls, tourists continue to come to and from the bridge while just hundreds of feet away. Search and rescue crews work deep in the trails to recover a woman killed while hiking this afternoon. Some visitors from California tell Coin 6 they saw search and rescue crews pass them but didn't know what was going on. Super bummer. I mean, it's a really beautiful hike and we never want anyone to get hurt or let alone a loss of life. So we're really bummed out to hear the news and sending love to their family and friends. Just after 1 o'clock Friday afternoon, dispatchers were alerted that a female hiker suffered a head injury after falling more than 100 feet near Weiss and Danger Falls in the gorge. Bystanders started CPR on the woman, but when Corbett firefighters got to her about 1.3 miles from the trailhead, she had died. First responders say the woman was hiking with a group of friends on the Multnomah Falls Larch Mountain Trail when she fell about 100 feet. The county search and rescue responded to help recover the hiker. While it's still unknown what led to the fall, visitors tell us there were some tricky parts to the trail the further up they went. It was very well maintained. It seemed like they do a great job up there, but with with all the stuff we were reading too about rock falls here and the winter and stuff, I could tell how it could be dangerous at some points. A representative for the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office tells Coin 6 that while the gorge is a scenic destination, due to its steep rocky terrain, hikers are urged to be cautious and remain vigilant when visiting the area. One family visiting from British Columbia came to see the falls at sunset and plan to come out to hike the trail tomorrow morning before they heard the news. We will definitely go hiking tomorrow. Um, I don't think we'll do the route where this person passed away, just out of respect for, for that person and for the place. The Trauma Intervention Program of the Northwest also responded to the tragic scene at Multnomah Falls, providing emotional support and mental health resources to the victim's loved ones who were there. The Multnomah County Sheriff's Office says the victim's name and their residence will be released at a later time once next of can have been notified. The cause of the fall is still under investigation. Now tonight, Multnomah County search and rescue crews were kept busy. In addition to this case, other crew members were dispatched to another part of the gorge where earlier they were received reports of two hikers stranded in a rugged area that was already closed from the 2017 Eagle Creek fire. We're still working to get details about that rescue, but we'll continue to keep you updated as we get any new information. Reporting live in the gorge, Jamie Seymour, Coin 6 News. Yeah, just awfully sad. And what you just said there with that other situation, a reminder, so many people are heading to these areas uh, this time of year as well. Jamie, thank you.